It was a sight to behold as people from all walks of life massed up the streets to catch a glimpse of former President John Dramani Mahama as he wrapped up his four-day campaign tour of the Upper West region. Some of the communities he visited include Erimong, Babli, Laura, Zambo, Brefo, Dafiama and Isa. Prominent among our cry for development is the inadequate infrastructure for our only senior high school in the community. The Brefo Senior High School, which was started during the last NDC administration, the school currently begs for boarding facilities, classrooms, a kitchen, and essential facilities to, com to complement its status as a boarding school. To add to the above, it has been a critical call for the government of Ghana to help maximize the potential of the Black Altar, which runs through our community by establishing by establish an irrigation scheme for the use of the community. This would afford our rural farmers the opportunity to farm all around the year, thereby improving the livelihood of our rural folk. Also, our desire to see that the stretch of road linking Brifo and Babli Path cannot be overemphasized. Not forgetting the road that links Brifo to Kunikwan, the Fofoi Bridge, and the route through to the main road of love. The NDC's flag bearer charged the people not to fall prey to what he termed as lofty promises by the governing MPP, but vote massively for the NDC. He said that will be the only way to boot out the NPP for their failure to honor their promises to the electorate. In 2016, all kinds of promises were flying around. One district, one factory. One million, one million dollars per constituency per year. One village, one dam. One child, one chocolate. And normally when you hear these promises, they sound very sweet to the ear. But the point is, you diminish the faith of our people in our democracy when you do that. Because you know you cannot deliver this promise. One million dollars per constituency per year. In 2016, when I hand over, when, uh, 2017, when I handed over the administration of this country to Nanado, one dollar was going for about four cities. So let's even say we fix the exchange rate at four cities. So each year, one million dollars. That's four million Ghana cities. Times four years, that's 16 million. If you had 16 million, couldn't you have built your factory here in Laura by yourselves? But they say when a frog dies, when a frog dies, that is when we know the length of the frog. The MPP frog is dying, so now we can measure it. If your factory hasn't come, it is not coming again. If your $1 million hasn't come, it is not coming again. If your dam hasn't come, it is not coming. But even those who got the dams, dry season, we went around and looked at them. The dams were dry. And as the rain has even come, the ones that were not dry, the rain has washed the dams away. The former president rounded up his tour with a meeting with the Zongo community in Wa where the chief, Alhaji Abu Bakar Siddiq Jiwa, expressed concerns over neglect by the Zongo Development Ministry. The Zongo fund that was light in Upper West, with a fear of missing away, with a fear of victimization, because that is the trademark of the Patron. Each single individual here represents a house. If any person among them can come out and go to say, I have received a benefit of it. The road is open for the person to come. So, Mr. Incoming President, we don't get up and wash our faces. We are seeing. We will first thank you on December 7th. I can assure the nation that we are not going to deploy vigilantes. We're not going to carry weapons on election day. We
We are counting on the people of Ghana to protect the ballot box.